Hi, good day everyone. Welcome to Science Colab. And for today's lesson, we are going to discuss the sex-linked traits under the topic of color blindness, a genetic disorder. So let us define what is sex-linked traits. A sex-linked traits are genetic characteristics determined by genes which are located on sex chromosomes. So ito ay located sa ika 23rd chromosomes which is the sex chromosome. So, alam naman natin, kapag X and Y, ito ay gamit ng male. Kapag X and X, ito ay gamit ng female. It is controlled by gene located on the X and Y chromosomes. So, kapag ang disorder or genetic disorder ay nasa X chromosomes, ito ay tinatawag na X-linked traits. Kapag naman ang genetic disorder ay nasa Y chromosomes, ito ay tinatawag na Y-linked traits. So, ano-ano mga genetic disorder under X-linked traits? So, sa human, sa tao, ang genetic disorder ay red and green color blindness. Second, hemophilia. Kapag naman Y-linked traits, ang genetic disorder na under dito ay hypertrichosis. So, sa topic natin ngayon, ang ditiscuss lang natin ay red, green, color blindness or color blindness. So, define natin what is color blindness. It occurs when you are unable to see colors in a normal way. It is also known as color deficiency. So, ang mga taong may color blindness, uh, hindi ibig sabihin bulag sila sa kulay. Okay? Sabi dito, someone cannot distinguish between certain color. So, nahihirapan kang i-classify, i-categorize yung mga colors, specifically between green color and red color. And occasionally lang sa mga blue color. So, bibihira o very rare kapag blue colors. So, madalas sa green and red color. And mas common to sa mga lalaki or male. So, pag-aralan natin bakit siya common sa male. So, kung makikita nyo dito, sex link traits or color blindness, genes that are located on the X chromosomes are called sex link genes. Katulad na binanggit natin kanina, ang gamits ng male ay X and Y. So, isa lang ang X ng male. So, kapag yan ay nagkaroon ng color blind, automatic, yan ay color blind na talaga. Pero ang female, dalawang X ng female So, kung ang isang X ng female ay colorblind, hindi pa siya magiging colorblind. So, kailangan dalawa ang colorblind ng X ng female bago siya maging colorblind. So, tignan nyo itong example natin. Kapag small letter C, ito ay colorblind. Kapag capital C, normal. So, ito yung mga gagamitin natin for colorblindness. So, example, kapag ang female ay colorblind, dapat both small letter C ang meron sa kanyang gamits. Okay? And for male, isang letter C lang ang kailangan para siya maging colorblind. Ito yung binabanggit ko kanina. Kaya siya mas common sa mga male. And how about this one? Colorblind carrier. Pag sinabing carrier, tagadala. So, tagapagmana. Ibig sabihin, hindi nagmamanifest sa kanya yung pagiging colorblind. Carrier lang siya, genetically. And sa female, ang ginagamit natin is capital C and small letter C. Kung makikita nyo, isang X lang ang merong colorblind sa kanya. Pero, yung kanyang isa pang X ay capital letter, which is normal. So, very rare sa babae ang pagiging colorblind kasi kailangan dalawang X niya ang merong colorblind bago siya maging colorblind pero sa condition dito ito ay colorblind carrier so magbigay tayo ng example using a planet square so sex link trait colorblindness number one a colorblind male marries a normal female so merong colorblind na lalaki kapangasawa siya ng normal na female. So, ito yung ating magiging legend or reference. Capital C kapag normal. Small letter C kapag colorblind. 
Okay? So, ito ang ating Punnett Square. Kung makikita nyo, on the top portion, dito nakalagay yung sa male gametes. And on the side or left side, dito nakalagay ang female gametes. So, kung ikaw crisscross natin sila, ito yung magiging result. So, X capital C, ito yun. X small letter C, ito naman siya. So, pinag-combine natin. And next naman, the second box, X capital C, ito siya. Then, letter Y sa top part. So, ibababa nyo lang siya dito. And next naman, X capital C, ito yun. Next, on the top portion, X small letter C, ibababa mo lang siya dito. Ito na siya. Ito yung result natin on the third box. On the fourth box, and the last, X capital C, dito mo siya ilalagay. Then, letter Y. Okay? So, ito yung pinaka-basic natin for crisscross. So, sagutan natin yung mga questions. What is the genotype of the male? So, of course, ang ginagamit lang naman natin na genotype is X and Y. So, automatically, dito ka lang titikin. Sa part dito and sa lower part. So, kukopayin mo lang siya. X capital C and Y. Ating answer for the first question. Second question, what is the genotype the female. So, alam naman natin, kapag female, X and X ang ginagamit natin. So, dito lang kayo titingin. Okay? X capital C and X small letter C. The same on the lower part. X capital C and X small letter C. So, ito answer natin. Now, the question is this. What is the chance that the child will be colorblind? So, ang answer natin is no chance. So, walang walang chance na magiging colorblind yung anak nila. Kasi kung makikita nyo, sa lalaki, normal. Kasi capital C. The same thing din sa babae. Siya ay may normal, okay, na alil, and normal na alil din. So, kung makikita nyo, no chance yung answer natin. Next, fourth question. What is the chance that a child or son will be colorblind? So, anak na lalaki. So, sa anak na lalaki, titigil lang kayo dito sa part dito. Sa right side, itong dalawang box na to. So, kung mapapansin nyo, normal. So, no chance pa rin ang ating answer. On the fourth and the fifth pala na question, what's the chance that a daughter will be a colorblind carrier? So, pinalitan natin yung question. Ano kaya yun yung chance na magiging colorblind yung kanyang anak na babae? So, of course, dito kayo titingin sa part na to. O dito sa baba. Kung mapapansin nyo, ito ay hindi colorblind, hindi rin normal. Ito ay carrier. So, 100% na magiging anak niya na babae ay colorblind carrier lang. O tagapagmana, tagadala ng pagiging colorblind. Pero hindi mag-manifest sa kanya pagiging colorblind. Okay? So, sagutan naman natin yung number 2. For number two example, a colorblind male marries a colorblind female. So, ang lalaki ay colorblind. Ito yung kanyang gamits. X, small letter C, and Y. Ang babae naman na napangasawa niya ay colorblind din. X, small letter Y, and X, small letter C. Sorry, X, small letter C, and X, small letter C. So, i-crisscross nyo na siya. Ano ang magiging result? Okay, kung ito yung sagot nyo, correct ang sagot nyo. X, small letter C, and X, small letter C, same thing din sa baba. And sa male naman, X, small letter C, and Y, X, small letter C, and Y. So, for our genotype, X, small letter C, and Y, kinopen nyo lang ito, itong part na ito, sa side. Next, what is the genotype for female? X, small letter C, and X, small letter C. Kinapi nyo lang din to, itong part na to, sa may left side ng box. And next, what is the chance that the child will be colorblind? So, 100% kasi lahat sila ay merong small letter C. Small letter C, kung mapapansin nyo sa box na to, sa loob. Lahat ng kanilang magiging anak ay colorblind. Next question. What is the chance that a son will be colorblind? So, ito lang ulit titik na yung portion. Ito ay part ng male. 
So, 100% ng kanyang magiging anak na lalaki ay colorblind din. Ganun din sa daughter. Dito sa part na to, lahat ay colorblind. Kasi meron siyang small letter C. Okay, both alil. Next question or next example. Number three, a colorblind male marries a colorblind carrier female. Kung makapansin nyo dito, carrier yung babae. So, ang ginamit natin gamits ay X capital C and X small letter C. Ang gamit naman na ginamit natin sa male ay X small letter C and Y. Kasi nga, ito ay colorblind male. So, paki-crisscross at sagutan ang mga question dito. Kung ganito ang inyong sagot, tama kayo. So, ito yung result ng ating crisscross, second box, third box, and fourth box. So, what is the genotype of the male? So, ito yung sasagot, sagot natin. X, C, small letter C and Y, ito yun. So, okay nyo lang yan. And X, capital C and Y, ito rin yun. Pinakapil lang natin. So next, what's the genotype of the female? X, small letter C, X, small letter C. And X, capital C, and X, small letter C. Ito naman yung part na yun. Pinakapil lang natin. So the question is, ilang chance ang magiging anak nila ay colorblind? So kung makapansin natin, itong part lang na to, and itong part ang magiging color blend. So, let us assume na kada box ay tig to 25%. So, 25 dito, 25, 25, 25. So, dalawang box dito ang color blend na nila. So, ito ay 50%. Next question. Ilang percentage daw kanilang magiging anak na lalaki ay magiging color blend? So, ito yung part sa lalaki or male. So, kung mapapansin nyo, sa kanyang anak na lalaki na dalawa, 50% ang magiging normal, ito yun, and 50% ang magiging colorblind. So, ang answer natin is 50%. Okay, or 50-50. So, next, what is the chance that a daughter will be colorblind? So, ito yung part na yun. Kanyang daughter. Na baba, of course, babae. So, 50% din. Kasi nga, 50% normal and 50% colorblind. So, 50-50 chance. And last, so, a normal male marries a colorblind carrier female. So, ang ginamit naman natin sa male ay normal naman. And for female, of course, carrier. So, pakikiris cross at sagutan ang mga questions dito. So, kung ang sagot nyo ay ito, tama kayo. So, ito yung result ng crisp course natin sa apat na boxes. So, sagutan natin yung question nito. What is the genotype of the male? So, of course, kukopihin nyo lang itong part na to For the male. And, of course, for the genotype for female, kakopi nyo lang din ito, itong part na to And next, what is the chance that a child will be colorblind. Ang tanong dito, sa kanilang magiging anak, ilang percentage ang magiging colorblind? So, kung titignan natin, of course, itong box, normal. Itong box naman na to, normal din. Itong box na to ay carrier. Itong box na to ay colorblind. So, 25, 25, 25%, and 25. So, isang box lang, sagot natin is 25%. And next, what is the chance that a son will be colorblind? So, sa kanyang dalawang magiging anak na lalaki, ito yun, in box 1 and box 2. So, yung isang box, normal. And yung isang male naman, colorblind. So, 50-50 chance. So, 50% ang magiging normal and 50% naman ang colorblind. So, 
proceed tayo sa last question. What is the chance that a doctor will be colorblind? So, ito yung part ng doctor. So, kung makikita nyo, normal to a career. Ang question natin is colorblind. So, walang chance na magiging colorblind yung kanyang anak na babae. At kung makapansin nyo dito, normal yung lalaki or male. But yung female ay career, ah. Pero still, ang magiging anak nila, may chance na magkaroon ng colorblind. Kaya mas common itong colorblindness sa mga lalaki. So, that's all for today. Kung wala na kayong question, thank you very much for your listening. And once again, God bless everyone.